Hydrogen is a combustible gas which has no color and no smell. It's not poisonous and it's very light. It's almost 15 times lighter than air. It's so light that it tends to escape towards space where it is dispersed. This is why you cannot find much hydrogen on Earth apart from in the eruptions of volcanoes, in fumaroles and in oil fields. If we want to get isolated hydrogen that is not combined with other elements, we have to detach it. And this process is hard work. That is, it consumes a lot of energy. This is why we say that hydrogen is not a primary source of energy, like coal, petroleum and methane, but it is an energy carrier, like electricity, a form of energy which is not found directly in nature. To produce hydrogen, there are different methods and different chemical compounds. You can start, for example, from fossil fuels like coal, petroleum or natural gas. These fuels react together with steam at high temperatures and produce a gas which contains hydrogen but also other gases, above all carbon dioxide. So this gas must be purified to obtain hydrogen. However, hydrogen can also be produced from water. After all, water is made up of just hydrogen and oxygen. To separate the two elements, we can use electricity in an apparatus which is called an electrolyzer. The oxygen that we get in this way is very pure, but extremely costly. The electricity that is used for this process can also be produced by using renewable energy sources, for example, wind. This produces hydrogen without causing pollution. It's very important to keep looking for more efficient and cheaper ways of producing this gas, which is versatile and clean. For this reason, scientists are experimenting with many different methods, and they have discovered that even algae can produce hydrogen by using the light of the sun.